There is a lot of talk now about social impact value. And companies are faced with the question, should they value their impact that they have on the environment and the society? And we got the question uh, from one of the participants if they should not use impact valuation to do that. We believe not, and I'll make the case here why we believe this is a wrong path for profit-oriented companies. But let's start with a simple example, Roche versus Lonza. Wages is one of the impacts that you have on societies. And companies doing impact valuation have uh, used the, number, the amount of salaries that they pay to employees as a part of their positive impact on society. Now, when we compare Roche and Lonza, both in the life sciences industry, Roche pays 16 billion in Beijing and Lonza pays 1.6 billion, only a tenth. Now, when you look at this, obviously you realize you cannot compare these numbers. You know, I mean, first of all, Roche is a lot bigger. And second of all, it doesn't really account for how many employees they have. They also doesn't account for CEO pay levels and country differences. So you may want to evaluate their impact value for wages by using standardization methods, by, for instance, dividing the wages by revenue. And then you see Roche and Lonza both pay the same amount of the same share, 28, 27% of uh, their revenues in salaries. So you could come to the solution, they're actually just as good. But of course, revenue is only one way to look at it. You could also look at profits. How much profit is distributed from these two companies? And then you see Roche only distributes 84% of their profits to shareholders, to employees, to employees, <laughs> a new stakeholder that comes in. And Lonza is a lot more generous. They, they pay double, uh, double of what Roche pays to their employees, 160%. Now, Looking at this, you would come to the conclusion, Lonza is better than Roche. It's a lot more generous. You know, their, their, their profit is shared a lot more with employees. But then when you look at the number of employees, it changes again. The average salary for Roche is 158,000 per employee, while the average salary for Lonza is 114,000. So now Roche again is more generous, but that, again, is not a good number because it doesn't say what kind of employees you have engaged. Maybe Roche has a lot more highly paid scientists and maybe Lonza is more operational. We don't know. And an outside viewer cannot know. Another impact value that is used is taxes. Roche pays 2.9 billion in taxes, quite nice actually, for me as a Swiss citizen. And Lonza only pays 71 million. Now, does that mean Roche is a, makes a lot bigger contribution to society. It isn't because it could be that Lonza is, just happens to be operating in lower tax region than Roche is. So there's a lot in uh, in impact in impact valuation for profit organizations that provides uh, areas of attack for you. Finally, I've not even mentioned you know companies that have a huge social impact. Google and Facebook, for instance, uh, where you would find it completely uh, strange if they would say, uh, if like Google would value uh, the benefits of search people have, you know, and put a number on that, you would say like, that's crazy, or Facebook or Amazon, even worse. Amazon providing goods a lot cheaper to, to customers if they would put a value on what they do there, you would say like, this is crazy, this is just a new technology and they happen to be the platform. So no wonder, ESG rating agencies do not use impact valuations. And I recommend for profit organizations not to use impact valuations, but do the same that rating agencies do as well, namely to, to um, rate their performance. Mm -hmm.